credence has been given to the talk that Donald Trump is considering firing FBI Director Christopher Wray after the election. The FBI Agents Association, more than 14,000 strong, appealed to Trump and Democratic nominee Joe Biden to retain Wray after the election. In letters to the nominees, Brian O'Hare, the FBI Agents Association president, explained that since 1976, FBI directors have been appointed for 10-year terms to protect the law enforcement from politics. While they can be removed by presidents, O'Hare noted that doing so could lead to instability and damage to the Bureau's operations. Director Wary is an asset to the Bureau and a trusted leader of agents in the field, he continued. Our country is safer because of him. Director Ray operates independently from partisan activities, and his nomination and acceptance of the position were predicated on that fact. He has not led the Bureau in a political manner, and politics should not determine his fate as director. No matter the outcome of next week's election, added O'Hare, the men and women of the FBI are urging both presidential candidates to allow Director Ray to lead the Bureau and serve our country. White House spokesman Judd Deere said in an email, if the president doesn't have confidence in someone, he will let you know. The White House does not speculate or comment on personnel matters. The FBI said in a statement, major law enforcement associations representing current and former FBI agents as well as police and sheriff's departments across the country have consistently expressed their full support of Director Ray's leadership of the Bureau. While it was noted that directors are usually on board for 10-year terms, yet presidents can remove them, Trump did just that four months into his presidency when he fired James Comey, setting off the Russia investigation. He later also fired the deputy director, Andrew McCabe, who was acting director until Ray replaced him. Ray was sworn into the director's role in August 2017. In recent months, Trump hasn't seen eye to eye with him recently. Last month he didn't argue when it was suggested he could remove Ray after he gave testimony to Congress about the Russian interference in the current election, as well as the threat the Antifa movement presents. Trump and his advisers have often discussed possibly firing Ray over law enforcement not helping him win the election. However, this could cause trouble for Attorney General William Barr. In particular, Trump was upset that Connecticut U.S. Attorney John Durham would not present his findings of the Russia investigation's origins before the election. He had been hired to conduct the probe by Barr. Trump is also not happy that neither Ray nor Barr would publicly indicate that Biden and his son Hunter are under investigation, according to people familiar with the matter. Recently, Trump said Barr should appoint a special prosecutor to investigate the Biddens. He's got to appoint somebody this is major corruption, and this has to be known about before the election, he said.